So what we are looking at is a spring, pulley, and mass configuration such that the mass is directly suspended from the pulley where, wherein the pulley is directly attached to the spring. And so to zoom it up a bit, as you can see, this is how I've attached it. And you can note the deflection of the spring. In just a sec, you'll get some perspective of it and how much it deflects, like so. Right, so remember that. Rem observe and remember the position of the pulley because I'm then I'm going to show another configuration wherein the deflection of the spring will be more with a little bit difference in the way the mass is suspended. But first, let's look at a static equilibrium model or to be more precise, free body diagram for the pulley in this uh, configuration. And this is what it looks like. Okay, so you'd agree that the restoring force of the spring equals the weight, where weight is the mass times gravitational acceleration, the mass being categorized like such. Now, I'm going to try to suspend the same mass from which is in the mass holder, but having it wrap around the pulley and let's see what happens. Please bear with me as I change the configuration here. You may not be able to see anything, but perhaps you may be able to hear my voice. Okay, so now, same spring, same pulley, same bracket, but now you can see that the mass this is a mass holder and the mass therein which is of 200 grams and the mass holder itself is 50 grams that is being suspended by having a rope I mean I mean to say string which is pretty much massless going over a almost frictionless pulley like such and so to show the perspective of how much pulley has def spring has deflected and if you recall the previous position of the pulley you can see that the pulley has displaced more or the spring has stretched more than before right so now try to now let us try to create a free body diagram for pulley in this configuration and I'll call that it as case 2 so here's the pulley and the reaction I went to say restoring force of the spring labeled as R2 W sub 1 is the weight due to the mass of the pulley and the mass of the bracket and the mass of the spring but the mass the weight due to the mass holder and the additional mass therein is model like such now because the pulley is frictionless the tension on two sides is the same but that tension again is determined from the static equilibrium of each, in each individual subcomponent in this instance the weight holder itself is thought of as a separate entity in static equilibrium and so summation of forces equals a null vector gives me that tension in the string on this end must be W sub 2. Obviously the string is also in static equilibrium and this is a small sample chunk or representative of a any portion of the string and that is in tension on this end as the mass is suspended therefrom. And then you can see the mass uh, spring, uh, the string going around and so tension is kind of relayed if you will 
and all the way up to the place where the string was tied. And as a result, the static equilibrium of the pulley gives me as gives me sigma f equals zero with r sub two equals two two t plus w sub one. Now, in case if you wonder, is summation of moments equals zero? Well, try taking moment about this point. You will realize that the only forces participating in the moment, if you were to take take the moment about the center of the pulley, would be the tension here and the tension there. And because the radius of the pulley is the same, right? The position vector or the lever arm is the same, and thus this force will create an anti-clockwise moment. This force will create a clockwise moment of equal and opposite magnitude cancelling out. And so summation of moment is automatically zero. Hopefully, this has been uh, a clarification of a confusion if you may have had as to how come when a string goes around the pulley in this configuration, there is a greater reaction as opposed to when the weight was directly suspended from within the pulley or directly to the pulley as opposed to the rope going around or the string going around. Thank you and please feel free to comment uh, if you felt this to be, uh, if, if you felt this was useful to you. Thank you and bye now.